All right, so I'm going to take a second to go through a couple homework questions. So let me pull up the first one. All right, the first question that I saw a lot of people having trouble with is this one right here. So it says, in one study of smokers who tried to quit smoking using the nicotine patch parrot therapy, 41 were smoking after one year of the treatment and 33 were not smoking after one year of the treatment. Use a 0 .10 significance level to test the claim that among smokers who try to quit the nicotine therapy patch therapy, the majority were smoking after a year of this treatment. Use the information to answer the question. So majority, what does it mean? That means more than 50%, right? So the null hypothesis is going to always be equal, and then we want to select a proportion greater than 50%. So when you go through these and take a look, this one right here is less than. This is the correct answer because it's equals 50% or greater than 50%. All right, the next thing it's going to ask us is to find the z-test statistic. We get this value by um, computing using um, our hypothesis test worksheet. We want to make sure we have proportions selected. So this is actually set up for us, equal 50% or greater than 50%. Now we need to put our p-hat value in here. Be careful with this one. We had 41 who were, who were smoking and three, 33 who were not. We are trying to find the claim that we, the majority of people are smoking. So our P hat value is going to be the percentage of those who took the nicotine patch who were smoking one year after. So to find the total, we're going to do 41 plus 33. So we had 74 total people participate in the study, but the percentage of those who are smoking after one year, oops, is 41 over 74. This is our p hat value. You can see it's 0 0.554054541. So I'm going to, we do not want to round this value. I want to take this out at least six decimal places. So 0 0.554054, that's, I think that's good enough. All right, the sample size, how many people? We said that there were 74 participants, and this time we're going to use a significance level of 0 0.10, or 0 0.10. And now we're going to fill in these values according to what we got on the spreadsheet. So um, the z-test statistic is this value right here, around two decimal places, so that's going to be 0 0.93. All right, my p-value, we're going to round that four decimal places, 0.1762. And finally, since our claim was H1, we need to see the word support in our claim. Now, is our p-value greater than our significance level? 0.1762 is bigger than 0 0.10. When that p-value is greater than our alpha, we cannot reject the null hypothesis. That means we cannot support any claim. So that means there is not enough evidence for us to claim that the majority of people who are smoking after the year treatment. All right, um, so do these results suggest that nicotine therapy is ineffective? Um, yes, there is sufficient. No. No, there is insufficient evidence that the therapy, therapy is insufficient or ineffective. Or yes, there is sufficient evidence that the therapy is ineffective as less than 10%. So I think it's going to be no. Since we didn't have enough evidence to support the claim, there's not en enough evidence to really say anything about this one. All right. The next one here, a study of 420,077 cell phone users, 132 developed brain cancer. Test the claim that cell phones users develop brain cancer that is at a rate different than 0.0340% of people who do not use cell phones. Because this has such great importance, you use a significance level of 0 0.005, so we're making the significance level very small. So I don't see less than or greater than anywhere in this problem. So what we're going to want to do here is we are going to do equal or not equal. Now here's the trick. We haven't seen this yet, but it's the claim that cell phone users develop brain cancer at a rate different from. So our 
claim is actually going to be H1, even though we're going to be using the equality. We're not going to see this a whole lot here, but this is a case where that happens. All right. So the z-test statistic. Now we need to get those values, that p-hat value. This is what I was saying. You do not want to round this. So we had 132 users out of 420077. And here's what I got. 3.14 e negative 4. That means we need to move that decimal place. Again, when you do not use this over here. This is causing problems because it's rounding. So let's set up our null and alternative. So it's going to be 0 0.00034 and 0 0.00034. And we need to select not equal here. And our sample proportion is 0 0.00031. Four, two, two, eight. We need to take that really far out since we're dealing with a very small value. My sample size was 420077. I'm going to just check that one more time. Yep, that's right. 420077. And this time we are using a significance level of 0 0.005. All right. So now we're ready to answer these questions. Our Z score or Z test statistic is negative 0 0.91. What is the P value? It's 0 0.3649. And again, now we're going to compare P and alpha. So our P value is 0.3649. Our significance level is tiny, tiny, tiny. This is bigger. Again, P is greater than alpha. We're dealing with a situation where this test is basically inconclusive. So we're going to say that there is not sufficient evidence to support the claim that cell phone users develop brain cancer at a different rate. It's just not different enough. And finally, should cell phone users be concerned about brain cancer? We're going to say no. The study does not suggest that they develop at any higher of a risk.